almost 90,000 acres of Pisgah Forest to the U.S. government, ensuring the preservation of what would become America's first national forest east of the Mississippi. to the state did not end there. In 1916, Biltmore Village was devastated by a flood. It took the lives of several estate workers and wiped out the profitable Biltmore nursery. Despite these difficult times, Edith and then Cornelia persevered. In 1924, Cornelia married the Honorable John Francis Amherst Cecil. When John and Cornelia moved into Biltmore House, they, like Edith and George, filled the estate with friends and soon a family. My favorite room has to be our Louis XV suite of rooms. It was actually the room that my father was born in and before that, his mother and my uncle. And I think that's an incredibly sweet part of the story. But the carefree times of the Roaring Twenties were short-lived. The Great Depression began to take its toll on Asheville's once thriving tourist industry and on Biltmore. In 1930, the Cecils opened their doors to the public, a move they hoped would bring more people to Asheville and also bring needed income to the estate. As the years wore on, keeping built more as George and Edith envisioned it remained a challenge. When Dad came back from being a banker in New York,